Greetings. Father Mark signing on on the 13th day of April 2020 from St. Louis King of France Parish in Bucktown, Louisiana. This is the Monday of the Easter Octave. Mass intentions for May and Merlin Albert, Paul Versowski, Mary Marks, Mary Langlois, and Deacon Uriel Dewar. We pray for the repose of the souls of those who have died of COVID-19, the consolation of their families. In the world to date, 115,286 have died. Of those in the United States, 22,106. Of those in Louisiana, 840. We offer prayers of thanksgiving for those who have recovered. In the world, 440,922. Of those recovered in the United States, 41,730. Still, there are no officially reported recoveries in Louisiana, but Archbishop Amon indicates that he is improving. And anecdotally, I've heard of, from others that they are improving. Now, maybe the official numbers of, you know, wait for a definitive pronouncement of a cure. Uh, but still, there are some things for which we can be thankful. And we continue to pray for all medical clinicians risking their lives serving the sick, all medical researchers working on a cure and a vaccine, for all essential workers who risk daily exposure for our benefit. And we pray that this pandemic will pass. For these, please join me in the memorare. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly to you, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To you do I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in your mercy, Hear and answer me. Amen. Spiritual assistance for today. This is the Monday of the Easter octave. By way of explanation, in biblical usage, certain numbers have symbolic significance. The number three for the Trinity is the best known, but it is not the only one. The number eight is another. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter five, Jesus gave us eight Beatitudes, which formed the core of his personal value system and the gospel he preached. Therefore, in the church's liturgical usage, the multi-layered meaning of the number eight is reflected in the practice of octaves. For example, the eight days after Christmas are an octave, at the end of which, we celebrate the solemnity of Mary, the mother of God. The eighth Sunday of the Easter season is celebrated as Pentecost, the culmination of an octave of Sundays. And more immediately, Easter Sunday itself, which we celebrated this past weekend, merits an octave of days, which culminate with the solemnity of the divine mercy this coming Sunday. If you wish, company saying the chaplet of divine mercy each day during this octave that uh, prayer is uploaded on my website along with an explanation of the chaplet and the devotion under the playlist prayers and devotions i will also put a link to the for the prayer itself in the description section below this video the office of readings for today gives us an easter homily from saint melito who served as Bishop of Sardis until his death in 180 AD. Sardis is near the site of present-day Sart in Manisa province in western Turkey. And so a bishop from the ancient world declared the following. We should understand, beloved, that the Paschal mystery is at once old and new, transitory and eternal, corruptible 
and incorruptible, mortal and immortal. In terms of the law, it is old. In terms of the word, it is new. In its figure, it is passing. In its grace, it is eternal. It is corruptible in the sacrifice of the Lamb, incorruptible in the eternal life of the Lord. It is mortal in his burial in the earth, immortal in his resurrection from the dead. The law indeed is old, but the word is new. The type is transitory, but grace is eternal. The lamb was corruptible, but the Lord is incorruptible. He was slain as a lamb. He rose again as God. He was led like a sheep to the slaughter, yet he was not a sheep. He was silent as a lamb, yet he was not a lamb. The type has passed away. The reality has come. The lamb gives place to God. The sheep gives place to a man. And the man is Christ, who fills the whole of creation. The sacrifice of the Lamb, the celebration of the Passover, and the prescriptions of the law have been fulfilled in Jesus Christ. Under the old law, and still more under the new dispensation, everything pointed toward Him. Both the law and the word came forth from Zion in Jerusalem. But now the law has given place to the word, the old to the new. The commandment has become grace, the type a reality. The lamb has become a son, the sheep a man, and man God. The Lord, though he was God, became man. He suffered for the sake of those who suffer. He was bound for those in bonds, condemned for the guilty, buried for those who lie in the grave. But he rose from the dead and cried aloud, Who will contend with me? Let him confront me. I have freed the condemned, brought the dead back to life, raised men from their graves. Who has anything to say against me? I, he said, am the Christ. I have destroyed death, triumphed over the enemy, trampled hell underfoot, bound the strong one, and taken men up to the heights of heaven. I am the Christ. Come then, all you nations of men, receive forgiveness for the sins that defile you. I am your forgiveness. I am the Passover that brings salvation. I am the Lamb who was immolated for you. I am your ransom, your life, your resurrection, your light. I am your salvation and your King. I will bring you to the heights of heaven. With my own right hand, I will raise you up, and I will show you the Eternal Father. Let us pray. Father, you give your church constant growth by adding new members to your family. Help us put into action in our lives the baptism we have received with faith. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. St. Melito, pray for us. St. Louis, King of France, pray for us. Our Lady of Prom Sucker, hasten to help us. In conclusion, stay cautious, stay calm, stay safe. Thank you for your attention. This session is adjourned. <laughs>